Blessed are those who run to him, who place their hope and confidence in Jesus. He won't forsake them. Blessed are those who seek his face, who bend their knee and fix their gaze on Jesus. They won't be shaken. Come on and pray. Therefore, since we have been declared righteous by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have also obtained access through him by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, We also rejoice in our afflictions 
because we know that affliction produces endurance. Endurance produces proven character. Proven character produces hope. This hope will not disappoint us because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. When we take the cup, when we take the bread, when we remember the blood of Jesus poured out for us, we are remembering this hope will not disappoint, cannot disappoint, because it's already been given, church. We have been made righteous by faith. Through this grace, we stand in the presence of God. So when we come to this table together, remember this. This is God's love poured out for us that allows us to stand in his presence in hope in the midst of any affliction, in the midst of anything going on in our lives. We have hope through the work of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you that you have poured out your love for us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit allowing this hope to take hold in the midst of any affliction. And Lord, today, as we come forward to take the cup, Lord, may we remember your work, Jesus, until you return. In your name I pray, amen.
Sometimes when we hear passages, we hear like one verse or one line, and we miss the context that something is in. So I want to read this in Proverbs to you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, know him, and he will make your path straight. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. This will be healing for your body and strengthening in your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first produce of your entire harvest. Then your barns will be completely filled and your vats will overflow with new wine. Do not despise the Lord's instruction, my child. As we give our tithes and our offerings, I don't plow fields. I don't have a harvest in the same sense. But my life, my work, does produce a harvest. And here it is saying, trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Trust him. And part of his instruction is with the first produce, the first portion of our harvest, to give it to the Lord and don't despise his instruction. Lord, we thank you for your instruction. Thank you for your ways, which are not our ways. Thank you for a way to live that will not only release our heart, but provide for us. Lord, you have proven over and over again in this church, in my life, and so many lives here, I know the testimonies abound of your provision. So Lord, we trust in you. As we give our tithes and our offerings to you, you, Lord, we are worshiping and declaring and professing we trust in your provision. Therefore, we give you our first and our best. May you be glorified by our giving today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
stone would smooth for good, and the lamb it conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe for the souls of all who come to the Father are restored. And the church of Christ was born. Hey